to talk more about this with me now, let's welcome our health editor, Julia Seeger. Julia, what more do we know about Alzheimer's? There's actually a lot we don't know about Alzheimer's, but research is indeed uh, progressing. Uh, now, the first person to ever describe Alzheimer's was uh, the German doctor by the name of Alois Alzheimer. It was in 1906. And to make it simple, uh, it's an abnormally uh, high buildup of different proteins that are going to form on the brain and are going to uh, cause the you know nerve cells to actually die. So you have two different types of abnormal structures. You have a protein called amyloid beta that are going to form and create what we now know as plaques, and you also have have tangles of another protein called toe. And so this is actually part of aging to have these, uh, you know, these different buildups of proteins on the brain. But in people with Alzheimer's, it's, uh, you know, in, in much higher quantities. Now, what's interesting is that a recent study showed that the very first signs of Alzheimer's can actually start emerging 15 to 20 years uh, before the, the first symptoms. So what are the first symptoms that you can actually see and witness? Uh, it usually starts, and I say usually because every case is different, but it usually starts with memory loss. Um, and as Alzheimer's advances through the brain, it then leads uh, to increasing severe symptoms. So it can be disorientation, mood swings, but also deepening confusions about events, space, time. Uh, there can also be, you know, unf un unfounded suspicions about relatives, for instance. Now, recently, a, a Harvard study, so before I talk about the Harvard study, what's important is that it then goes into difficulty uh, speaking, swallowing, and walking, but also recognizing people that we know. Um, now, recently, a study at Harvard showed that in the United States and in France over the last 20 years, there was a decrease in the prevalence of the disease by 13 percent. And that was due because people were living healthier lives. At the same time, you're seeing studies that are showing that because the most important risk factor with Alzheimer's is age, and because our populations in Europe and the United States are aging, we're going to see an increased number of uh, patients as well. And that's, this is why we still need to support research to try to find a treatment. Now, to talk about treatments, let's now welcome uh, our guest, Mai Panchal, scientific director of the French foundation, Vaincre Alzheimer. Hello, and welcome. Thank you for being with us. So we've been hearing about a drug specifically called aducanumab. Uh, what should we make of it? What are the treatments available today? And why is it so difficult to treat Alzheimer's? Yeah, so currently there is no drug able to cure Alzheimer's disease. And then this is why medical research should progress in this area. Uh, currently, we have in France four symptomatic drugs on the market. And they are intended to treat certain symptoms, but they do not prevent the progression of the disease. And, uh, and these drugs uh, have less or more effect depending on the patient. Uh, of course, we should not be limited to a drug prescription. There are also additional intervention uh, to improve the quality of life of patients, like speech therapy, psychological care, psychomotricity, etc. And this year, the great hope is the new treatment aducanumab, which was granted accelerated approval for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease by the FDA. And this decision makes aducanumab the first new drug to be approved for the treatment of this disease since 20 years. And so, of course, we still need a confirmation of the effic eff effectiveness of this treatment. But this is a real hope because adulem is a real therapeutic innovation. Uh, indeed, this is difficult to find an effective treatment. Uh, for example, this aducanumab, um, it, it, it aims to eliminate one of the toxic protein of the disease. And this protein was discovered in 1984. And this new treatment was improved this year. So you see this progress is the result of more than 35 years of medical research. So the research takes time. But it's also a lack of funding of res uh, uh, in research of France. Uh, and we have to know that these diseases are complex and multifactorial. So uh, we already know that there will not be a single treatment, but we will have a combination therapy. So a like more holistic HIV. approach. Yeah. A more holistic approach. Uh, my Panchal, thank you very much indeed for that. Scientific director of the French foundation, Vaincre Alzheimer.
Now, Jeannie, as you see, we're really at a crossroads here. There are about 500 clinical trials around the world to try to find uh, treatments or even a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and I do have a, a, maybe a last message, if you will, for, for people uh, who are perhaps living with someone who has Alzheimer's. Uh, but it's also important to understand that signs of dementia, um, you know, usually are more obvious to people who live with those persons. So uh, don't hesitate to try to get diagnosed because early diagnosis is very important. There is, uh, you know, there is hope. There are things that we can do, uh, even though we can't cure it. So, uh, you know, the most important thing is perhaps to try to tell someone in your family, if you have doubts, to try to push them to have a complete health checkup at least. Mm. Julia, thanks so much for that. Julia Segar, health editor here on France 24. Thanks to you and thanks to you for watching.